Yo, what's going on, everybody? What's going on, everybody? What's going on, everybody? Clean the screen a little. There we go. It's your boy, Coop the Trainer, coming at you with another video to make you better than what you were the day before. Now, I've had a lot of questions about where do I start? I need to do this before I can do this. I need to do that before I can do that. I'm going to go over all that right now. What you should do, what you can do, and the easiest way to make it on the program that you know I set up for you. First off, the first thing that you have to do is this. You have to write down exactly how much time you have every day. When I say that, it's easy. You got 24 hours in a day. You break that down, you got one hour that you can figure out to do something. You have two hours that you can figure out to do something. You have six hours that you can figure out how to do something. You have 12 hours to figure out. Um, what those number means is this. Each increment that you have is a time that you could be doing something. Write down the time that you have per day, which is 24 hours. The next thing that I want you to do is write down when do you sleep. That's the most important thing. When do you sleep? Put that down. The next thing, I want you to put down when do you work. Now let's see how many hours we have between the time we work versus the time that we're asleep. After we see that, let's add in some stuff like, you know, family time, which is about, uh, let's say two hours family time. That's where y'all get together, y'all talk about different stuff, doing it, uh, what happened during the day or during the week. Um, just the simple stuff. Uh, it's with you, the kids, aunts, uncles, whoever you want to be. Just put about two hours for that. That's for the whole day. The next thing I want you to put down is the time for you. When do you sit down to do what you want to do? When do you put stuff aside so that you can do it for you? Add those hours up and tell me how many hours you get for everything. Once you get that, then we can figure out how we can kind of change time around for niggas and numbers so that you can really focus on what you want to do. If the goal is to lose weight, if the goal is to be more organized, if the goal is to let people see, you know, what you're doing by doing videos, it doesn't matter what it is. As long as you're doing what should be done, the way it's supposed to be done, those hours will always add up and be where they should be. Now, would you like the hours? That's a total different question. You may not like the hours, but at least this will give you the baseline on where to start to so you can see where your problems are at. It's not supposed to fix anything. It's just supposed to let you understand where you're at, how far you have to go from where you're at currently, and what's really going on in your life, what you can take out, what you can put back in. It's, it's, it's not hard. It's just understanding where you should be, understanding what needs to be there versus what doesn't need to be there. Um, anyone that needs to know exactly how this works, hit me up. I'll be glad to show you. I will write this plan out for you. And it's nothing but what you have in your life. And all this will get you to where you're able to make decisions off of what you know and what you can do versus what you think you know and the time that you think you have. It's all about scheduling and making sure that everything stays as close to schedule as possible. And there's a lot of times that we get off schedule. But just because we get off schedule doesn't mean that we can't get back on it. So at the end of the day, you know what it is. It takes pain. It takes pleasure. It takes persistence. It takes having a goal. It takes having a mind. It takes every emotion you can think of to make yourself better. And with me, we're going to push it and make that happen, all right? I'll let you boy.